Everybody doing? Good, how you doing? We had a good day two. Um, probably not as good a day one as we would have liked. Had a little inclement weather that uh, cut us short. And uh, as you guys know, we had to push today back a little bit to avoid the weather. So we're two for two with uh, a little bit of weather issues. But I thought the kids pushed harder today. I think the little bit of time off before they started got them the first day. They weren't quite um, ready to go because we gave them about three or four days off since their last uh, thing they had done. So we had to push them a little harder uh, the first practice on Monday, but today was much more energy and uh, much more passion and a lot less mistakes. So tomorrow we're looking forward to putting the pads on. These first uh, couple of practices, you spent extra time maybe looking at the freshmen, the newcomers especially, kind of see what you kind of got in your hand. And so what have you noticed from those guys? Yeah, um, I try to do that all the time, but like I said, the first practice got cut a little short, so we got to see maybe 75% of a practice and um, got to see a little bit of those guys. Then I got to see more today, but I want to reserve judgment so I'll watch the tape. Um, there's some good players out there in that group. I'm really proud of the way they're competing right now. You know, the three defensive linemen are uh, rolling in kind of with the threes and fours, and their energy and they're playing a lot harder than the other guys, which tells me they're hungrier than the older guys. freshmen are doing Yeah, that? freshmen are. The, the three, uh, Tyler Clark, uh, Mikael Carter, and David Marshall, all three, they're playing with good motors and playing hard, which was probably the, the biggest pleasant surprise because of our depth issue there that I've seen so far. But now they got to sustain it and they got to do it with the big boy pads on. Did, uh, did David surprise you at all how big he was coming in here this summer? Marshall? Yeah, Marshall. Yeah. No, I've known David since he was a ninth grader actually and uh, seen him a long time. He's progressed naturally. And I don't know where there was, I guess there was a misnomer somewhere that he was going to maybe be an outside backer, but that was. Never the case for us. We kind of thought he would be where he was, and he's more of a, you know, the hybrid six technique, five technique type guy that can play more stuff, which is where we're probably the most thin right now. You mentioned the depth on the defensive line. Uh, obviously, fans, media are concerned with the quarterback battle. Is there one area though that is the most concerning for you at this moment? I would say every position is a dead tie. Okay. <laughs> because all you guys have got the secondary anointed, and you're worried about the quarterback. <laughs> But there's 22 plus the kicker and the punter, so we're at 24 that I'm very concerned about, and they're all equal. Kirby, has the uh, the wideouts kind of built on what they did in the spring? What, what's been your impression of the first two days? So far, I think the freshmen have played harder. They got more energy. You know, it's, there's some kind of uh, mechanism where a freshman comes in and he has no governor, and he just goes. And you just tell them you want to stay like that. And the players that stay like that are great players. Like, for example, Roquan Smith, he hasn't lost that yet. He just plays as hard as he can every play. And then there's other guys at receiver that don't do that. And if they don't do that, then they won't be able to help us in play because they play with the governor. And I don't want governors. I want you to run out of juice by the end of practice. Give me all you got, and when you run out, we'll go with that. Next time, we'll go a little more. You said Roquan Smith. I'm talking about Roquan Smith doesn't have a governor. He played linebacker, oh, yeah, okay, but yeah. he plays really gotcha. fast all the time. Gotcha. Now, speaking of Roquan, how is he physically right now? Yeah, he's like he's gotten a bit bigger than what he was. He has gotten a little bit bigger. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing with him is going to be staying healthy for his size. And uh, he's, he's playing fast out there. And uh, that's very pleasing to see. He's taking on a little bit more of a leadership role, and he's got a lot of ability. You just gotta continue to work the same way. All was fine with Rochester after what like he came off for a little bit yesterday. Yeah, I didn't notice that. He probably got tired. He tends to get tired. So I, I don't know of any injuries. He just, you know, might have been something to do with his shoes. I couldn't tell you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> sir. Shoes problems out there for y'all. <laughs> They're problems when they wear their high school shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how about we corrected that, by the way. How about Shakiri? I saw him on the bike. Is he dealing with it? He got a little bone bruise. Um, and we think he's going to be fine. It's just a, it's really a, a painful injury for a, a couple of days, and he didn't have all his flexion. So we think he'll be day to day, but back soon. Kirby, uh, um, Reggie Carter wasn't present while we were out there. There were a few guys out there that were kind of late. Uh, was, was that an injury issue or something else? Student athletes. Right. <laughs> we're student athletes first. They are in the middle of finals. So they're taking finals. Got time for two more. Kirby, uh, I don't know if you've gotten this far down the road yet, but Isaiah McKenzie on kick return, punt return, he's such a dynamic talent, but he hasn't always returned punts. 
didn't return many kicks last couple of years. Have y'all thought about how you're going to handle him? Yeah, we're at an open competition there. I do think he's a dynamic player, like you mentioned. Um, but we're having an open competition. I think he's a better punt returner than he is a kickoff returner. But he's good at both. Um, reminds me of when I was at Alabama when we had Javier. He, he was not a great kickoff returner, but he did return them. And that's a little bit how Isaiah is. Um, um, he's taking a lot of ownership and doing things the right way. And the biggest thing with him is he's explosive, but he's got to have ball security. And that's the most critical factor for him to protect the ball. When I talk about your depth uh, and, 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 and tailback behind uh, Nick and those guys, and there's like, I think he's number 24, a walk on or somebody there. Can you uh, talk about who that is? And yeah, so first of all, we got Brendan Douglas, who's played a lot of snaps here. He's been playing, it seems like, here forever. Since I've been watching George, he plays a lot. He's, he's very steady, he's very dependable, he does a good job. Tay Crowder's another guy that's competing right there and fighting his tail off, he's done a good job. Two, two young guys, I'm gonna reserve judgment on those guys because I don't, Ryan and, and uh, Elijah, I ain't got to see enough of them to know. I know Elijah's got the right kind of intensity and he, he, he plays with the right attitude and demeanor um, and he's picking things up quickly, but we haven't seen enough to know. They've never put a pad on at the University of Georgia yet. So I'm not going to have them ready. And then the young kid is Prather Hudson, the kid that we brought in um, from Brookstone uh, in Columbus, who's done a phenomenal job in summer workouts and uh, really competes hard. And we think he'll be a good player for us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.